And hello, everyone. Yeah, that's not working at all, is it? It's it's not really. It's just not seeing it. It's really annoying. It was working fine. There we go. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, there we go. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hello, hello. Good to see everyone. It is, hey Patrick, good to see you. I know why you're here. I know why we're all here. It is Saturday night, which means it's time for the Weekly Dig, uh, where we talk about anime old and new, um, which is, uh, and we'll be talking about something kind of old and new tonight, in a way, um, which would be interesting. And uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, um, I'm Brent. Took me a while to get there. Um, I'm Brent, and these are my fantastic co-hosts, John. Say hi, John. And Steve. Say hi, Steve. There we are. Um, so, yeah, let us start tonight by analyzing an anime movie we all watched this week, namely... Evangelion 2.22, You Cannot Advance. Now, as I mentioned before, we've all had some experience with Evangelion before. Um, so we're all coming to this with some, some exposure to the TV series. Um, um, and some of us have seen the Rebo movies before, some have not. Um, and uh, let's just kind of jump in here. So as we recall the first movie is basically episodes like one through eight of the first series. Um, and this movie is not that. <laughs> um, I can't think of a single element of this movie that, that goes the way it went in the TV series. Um, I think they change everything. Because um, we start, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. When do they slap Shinji? Mm. Okay, well, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're right, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I, I would argue, even in this movie, you know, Shinji isn't Shinji and Rei isn't Rei by the end of this movie. Um, but we'll get there. Um, but yeah, I mean, to that point, we open with a completely new character. Um, this, this girl in a green sort of quasi-plug suit? Like, not really, kind of, sort of? Um... Uh, clearly kind of an experimental thing. I love kind of the hoses coming out that are plugged into her arms. Um, this is kind of a very weird thing, and we're introduced to this to this girl. We have no idea who it is. Um, but we do meet Kaji. <laughs> right? We meet that scene. We're like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> which one? Oh, that's interesting. Um, try, how about now? That should fix it. La, la, there we go. Okay. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, Appreciate that. Um, so, yes. So, um, uh, yeah. So we have new characters um, uh, immediately, but we have an, the old character in Kaji. Um, uh, and we have a, a whole new fight with uh, a whole new Evangelion and a whole new angel. Um, and I got to admit... I really like this fight. Um, yes. 
You know, yeah. The whole subterranean thing, which we hadn't really seen before in this way. Um, the way that it just sort of cuts out a whole cylinder of what's above it and then escapes through that cylinder. Um, and then the fight with it where she just kind of pins it um, and then just does whatever she needs to to take it out. Um, yeah, that whole cylinder, I thought it was a trap. Mm. It's like, mm-hmm. I, I've, I, you know, I've seen this before. I've, I've watched 1, 2, and 3. Okay, yep. 1. 1, 2. Yeah. 3. 3.3, whatever. Um, and it's like, it always gets to that point where it's like, I totally forgot it cut the cylinder because you yeah. don't really, it just, no. yeah, it just, like it that just suddenly cylinder comes just down. sort of yeah. <laughs> And I was just yeah. like, wow, that's a really elaborate, like, way to trap whatever is trying to get out. Mm-hmm. Like, you have, like, a pitfall kind of thing right. where it's like, clomp, <laughs> you're going to squash it. I'm like, oh, no, this mm-hmm. thing's, like, super crazy. Like, there's not a, oh, we've got seven minutes until, you know, right. level 27 <laughs> of the armor's penetrated. Ooh. No, this thing is, like, instantaneously, it's already cut the plug, yep. and it's ready to go. Like, yep. oh, wow, this is, like, a different kind of angel from the yeah. ones we saw. Right, which is a great way of raising the stakes. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. Because um, it's also really like almost didn't make it in one point one one. Yeah, yeah. While that thing's yeah. like tunneling down, mm-hmm. it's like if this thing had been there, oh, oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it would have been instantaneously terrible. Yep. yep. Yeah, it's, it's a great way to bring about the whole concept of like the Vatican Treaty and like how every country is limited to whatever and it's what each country makes. Yeah, you know, in terms of the of, of an Evangelion unit, and you yeah. know, the, the, what, what, this was the American version, right? I think or, so, yeah. so. And it's just the way that it in that subterranean fight, uh, fight was great. I thought it, should, it was just going to be like, oh, she's shooting down the tunnel to get out, and that's how they do the thing. No, 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 they're they're, they're fighting inside yeah. the tunnel, mm-hmm. and it's this wonderful chaotic movement, and then it just stops, and like everyone else is saying, oh, cylinder time. I'll <laughs> be <laughs> <laughs> on the. Also, the, the kinetic motion, I like, yeah. I, you know, I've never really gotten a sense of, like, when you see Asuka or Shinji or Rei, like, running in an mm-hmm. EVA unit, mm-hmm. it's like, you never get that same kind of sense of kinetic, like, energy involved. Mm-hmm. So Because it's see, a Godzilla movie, right? Like, he's, right. It's, it's, it's Ultraman, right? So it, it right, feels right, like yeah. a, yeah. In this <clears throat> fight, you get a sense of that kinetic yeah. motion because, like, the pilot jams on the brakes and it's like, mm-hmm. oh no, it just it's a stop, turn around. No, it's like, <laughs> out like the hallway. It's like, oh, the thing went that way. And I'm like, oh wow, you know, thank you. Yep. Because these yeah. things are like multi ton, tens of tons yeah. of machine and parts and stuff. You don't just stop on a dime, turn around. <laughs> right. It's like, yes, you actually do have time where you drag it to a stop and then go the other mm-hmm. direction. Yep. Like, oh, you know. Patrick was saying it is a European Eva, I think. Um, okay. So, okay, because I thought yeah. Asuka, she's Asuka Langley. Right. So it's like she was the American yeah, I, I pilot. Think, no, I think, um, I think Asuka's European as well. Yes, she yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Asuka, um, Asuka's uh, German, German, actually. Yeah. Um, well, now she's German in the TV well, well, series. Yes. German. So it is possible they changed that for that. I'm not sure. That's, that's, that's <clears> a good point. Um, but yes, so... Um, uh, yeah, so we, we have the fight. She takes it out, and again, this mm, every action scene should communicate character, um, yeah. and I love that this scene does that. In that we have this, it is trying to get out. It is trying to leave, and so her job is to engage as quickly as possible, and so yeah. seeing how she is just going at it, going at it, but not in this act of like desperation. This act of all right, let's do this thing, like the, you know. Like she's a, a you know a sports player out there, you know, gung ho for the game, um, which is such a wonderful thing to see. Um, uh, to, to yeah, to see game. somebody who wants to do their yes, job exactly. in the robot. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> how refreshing! Right, right. Um, so we get to see Mario Lustre for the first time. Um, yeah. Uh, who uh, and definitely and I, it said to you it said to you earlier in the week she is a beast when she does this she, good, like she is just that yes yeah, <laughs> um, yeah you're right uh, Oscar spoke German in the, in the um, uh, at least in the TV series um, I'm not sure if she does in, in the rebuild movie okay. um, I have yeah. heard yeah yeah no I think um, t- I, I'm not sure that she does in the rebuild yeah series. it's interesting um, I think she does in the TV but yeah mm-hmm. um, and um, um, I respect that Patrick not being sold on Mario at this point I was. I was like, I like this girl. Um, I, I, I wasn't sold on her, but I was like, I'm, I'm in favor of this character so far. Um, 
Well, it's completely, she was a completely different thing than yeah. what any, if you watch the old TV series, you watch this, completely yeah. different, you know, she is engaged, this is yeah. what she wants to do. She even tells you as she's doing the thing that, hey, I'm doing the thing because I want to be here and I want to kick the crap out of yeah. this thing, <laughs> you know, and, and she's just, and she's, she's going all out. And, and that's the other part of it is that she is pushing this machine yeah. to its limits and there is nobody by the way mm -hmm. back at hq going do this do that right do that. yeah they Good just point. let her go they're just like like okay we got the little berserker girl <laughs> we're gonna put her in here and just let her go mm -hmm. just, just let her do her thing yep and then off she goes and um and i like how they how they ended the fight when when you know her plug evacuates and she's sitting there kaji says the one thing and she says almost the same thing but you know it's a shame we're using kids as pawns and she's just like i'm loving my job so much it's a shame that i'm using men uh, as adults I don't, as, as yeah. pawns so i can go out and kill angels and it's just like well, yeah, okay yeah you know, Shin, Shinji would not say that absolutely uh, ray would not say that no nope. no um so yeah they're, they're definitely doing something different with with mari um um, she, she is absolutely well. I, I would say she's not nonchalant. I would say she is um, free spirited. Maybe um, she. I get the feeling that she has come to peace with what she's doing. Um, yeah. she, she clearly recognizes the danger that she might die, but she's like that. That's part of the job. Like this is what we have to do. Um, it's very much the soldier's perspective, right? Of, I'm going to do the thing, and you know, whatever happens, happens. And that's what I was going to say. It's like Ray. I'm doing it because I'm told to do it and I'll do anything that I'm told to do. Mm -hmm. Shinji, I'm doing it because I was forced to do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the thing until I can not be forced to yeah. do it. Or because I want Asuka, my project Google. Right. And yeah. Asuka, it's like, I'm, I'm the best thing in the whole universe. <laughs> and damn it, well, I'm going to do this because it'll make me great. Mm -hmm. And Mario Lustrious, it's like, this is the job. Yeah. And I'm going to do it. I'm trained to do it, mm -hmm. I'm damn well good at what I do, mm -hmm. and I'm enthusiastic at what I'm doing. I want to do the thing. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. I don't feel so angsty watching my yeah. illustrious like kick the crap out of things. I'm like, hey. Well, and one of the reasons I think she works is because as Eva, as with a um, being sort of a commentary on on mecha tropes, you don't get this much either in mecha series, right? You, know, right. you don't get yeah. just the calm, competent, I'm going to do the thing, and this is, I'm glad that I'm doing this because it, has, it, it, is, it is good for society. You know, there is so many characters, even if they are like professional soldiers, who have stuff going on in their lives. Yeah. Um, it's just nice seeing you know, this, this take on, on that character. And obviously you see that in Gundam here and there of, of the various characters who are like, oh, this is cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's it, almost it like you. It's almost like you walk past the people that are the the angsty main characters mm -hmm. and you go to in like gundam in macross mm -hmm. in any of the big robot fights mm -hmm. you go past those people mm -hmm. to the people that are on the front line every day that are trained mm -hmm. to do the thing yeah. and they're like you know what i'm doing the thing because this is what we're trying to accomplish she's roy poker yeah, yeah. right you know yeah well, she she mm -hmm. has she well the I, the other refreshing part of this is is that is that she is not <clears throat> I, I know that they're all supposed to be the children, yeah, yeah. but sh there is a confidence in her mm -hmm. that, that yeah. there is not existing yeah. in the other characters. Yeah. And that confidence is coming through something that she has developed on, on herself and with others. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's, she's part of the team, but you know, let her, you know, if you let her do her thing, then she's going to be really happy mm -hmm. and you're going to be really happy with the right. results. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it, it just felt like started. she was trained to do the thing. Yeah. Right. And that's where the confidence comes from. It says, I yeah. am trained to do this. Right. Someone recognized that I'm good at this and they trained me up. Yep. And right. now I'm confident. Versus now like Gendo is like, hey, Shinji, you just got off the train. Good seeing you, kid. Get in the machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. That's kind of not the way you operate, like, really important <laughs> equipment. <laughs> oh, just um, push some buttons and do stuff. You'll be fine. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's not how they work. And Mari is like the example of that, where it's like, she looks like, behaves like she's trained to do the thing. Oh, well, mm -hmm. did you notice that they did the shot of her hands on the controls and she's yeah. like itching, she's mm -hmm. itching to do it. Yep. And it's like her fingers are moving in the way that, okay, this is what I do to do the thing and to, to make this thing happen. 
come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Which is kind of like a callback to Shinji in the simulator where he's like, yeah, look totally. and fire, look and fire, mm-hmm. look and fire. Mari is the example of, I, I think, what happens when you have somebody who's trained up to do and they're ready to do it? Like the, the finger memory, the muscle memory is there. Mm-hmm. So that's what she's doing. She's muscle memory versus Shinji's trying to learn the muscle memory to do the thing. Yep. And it's like, right. she's already there. <clears throat> She already can do that. She she's ready to do the input. She's ready to launch. Ready to go. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, okay, exactly. Mm. Um, I am currently trying to read up to see if there is a uh, any information on the uh, the Evo Wiki on um, on Mari's like where she is from, like her nationality. Right. Um, but I, I can't find much. What is interesting is they're, they're saying that uh, <laughs> um, her, she was not initially on his idea. Um, uh, one of the producers yeah. said, <laughs> um, we need to add another pilot girl, basically. Um, so <laughs> create another pilot girl for the fans to squee over. Um, and so, uh, Anno... We need more model kits. Yes, exactly. Let's make another. Oh, um, uh, ah, good. Um, and so to quote the, the, the wiki, um, um, Chief Director Anno, knowing a little more of his intent for her, other than that he wanted her to, quote, Destroy Evangelion, end quote. <laughs> wow. I <laughs> uh, uh, no, I love you. Um, Damn. Yeah. Um, I would have ruined the franchise. Jeez, <laughs> oh, dude, easy. Yeah. Um, but, uh, he, <laughs> Back he, it down a little. Um, and Otto basically said he, he, he realized this was his chance to really differentiate the Rebo movies. This is kind of his, his pivot point to kind of change right. things around. Um, but yeah, and then they, they, they were involved. Apparently at one point the, the idea was to make her... Um, uh, the uh, a dojiko or a clumsy careless girl um, <laughs> to differentiate her from the other characters. Like, oh, uh, thank you for not going down that path. Yeah, <laughs> that would have that would have really totally shifted the entire yeah. film. Um, I'm like, oh, <laughs> in a discordant kind of way, she honestly. Tripped. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, I would have loved to have. A, I, I mean, it would have been hilarious for this to come in, and you know. Pilot girl, and she has a little aho gay, you know, thing. It's like, oh, oh crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't would have done it, but uh, so I think this is a good, a good take. Um, yeah, there's <laughs> good choices made here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and then, <laughs> Thank you. And, and then again, we have this this, this moment with, uh, with with the graveyard, which blew my mind when I first saw it, because it is an actual conversation between Shinji yeah. and his father. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it, not only is it a conversation; it's not on like speakerphone. Right. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> Gendo and Shinji are in the same space, mm-hmm. like doing a thing, yep. not together particularly, but oh, yeah. in a good way. But they're, but they're, you know what I mean? They're in the same physical space. It's not Gendo's like way up in like the gantry, <laughs> being like, "Get in the machine." Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they're there sharing the same moment and yeah. like. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now, like, you know, Definite a little bit of father-son progress. <laughs> Not a lot, but yeah. still. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, 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 I really appreciated the scene. Um, um, even though, obviously, you know, Gendo still basically, basically abandons him um, at the end of the scene. But, again, progress. Okay, you know, we're, we're, we're moving. Yeah, they're at least in the well, same place. Yeah, like, come on. Physically well, in the know, same they, place. They, they talk, they have this interesting conversation mm-hmm. where Shinji goes, so you really, I heard that you threw all mom's stuff away. Yeah. You really did do that. And he's like, yup. And that's when I was just like, oh, what am I in for? Because <laughs> this is clearly yeah. foreshadowing. I'm like, I have, this is new territory for me. Okay. So um, the, so clearly there's, if you watch the, the, mm-hmm. the series and you know what's going to yeah. happen mm-hmm. yeah so i'm like going okay there's going to be a tie into that whatever that's going to be yeah. but i thought that was what was interesting at the end of it when they're just kind of kind of you know have that little you know um shinji's just like hey thank you for being here you yeah know, he's being you know a, you know it's a sad moment but he's mm-hmm. happy that he's sharing yeah. this sad moment with his dad but when they when the two of them say goodbye, relatively speaking, yeah, because you know, yeah. I think it's Jendo goes, mm, okay, I'm done here. Turns around yeah. and walks <laughs> yeah. towards towards the um, towards the, the the airplane thing or the the, the hell ship, or whatever, whatever ship. the hell it is. And Shinji, what's interesting is that Ray is in the yeah. ship, mm-hmm. is in the airship, 
So there's Gendo going towards Rei, mm. and there's Shinji going towards Masato. Mm. And it's just like going, can we have any more of a divorce allegory thing? <laughs> and, you know, you know, the kids are split yep. up, you know, and yeah. it's just like, yeah. you, know, you know, all this kind of thing going on. Absolutely. She's mine, he's yours, mm. you know, kind of a thing. But both of them, like Masato is keeping her respective distance and Rey's yep. keeping her respective distance mm. uh, yes. from what's going yeah. on. It should also be pointed out in this scene that, like, Gendo says, I'm leaving, he walks off. Shinji goes, Father, and Gendo stops and turns around. And, you know, waits for Shinji to say something, which he would not have done in episode one, I don't no. think. No. It's like, wow, okay. Um, but yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, and I remember when, when the, the VTOL lifts off, and I'm like, so Shinji's going to walk back to Nerve? Like, right. Yes. <laughs> yes, because walking too good for that part. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. He needs to tighten up a little bit. Yeah. Well, um, it's interesting, no, yeah, Steve, not... that you had said that about divorce wise. Yeah. It's like that yeah. was the kind of the thought that occurred to me. It's mm. like Gendo's really coming from a position of the things that happened mm. with Shinji's mom. Mm -hmm. That he is still deeply aggrieved and injured oh, yeah. and like oh, yeah. he cannot mm. <laughs> as we've seen in the tv series and it's you know see how things develop he is not over that gendo has not and it's therapy. like no 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 so mm -hmm. one of the things that he's done to self-therapy is like surprisingly he's not drinking a lot yeah, um that we know of. Um, yeah. yeah that we haven't seen yet <laughs> um but he's gotten rid of everything mm. everything that could possibly remind him that make him yeah. sad make him think of things like no he's like he, entirely eliminated that yeah. and then kind turned of. all of his yeah. <laughs> kind of yeah um except for one for... glaring thing <laughs> well you yeah. try and resurrect some things you know right. yeah, it's exactly. what you got. <laughs> um, but he's turned all of that you know sadness all of that frustration all of that everything into this very narrow channel yeah. and his love for ray <sighs> yes so his you know pure it's like, it's... love for ray Fatherly, no, yeah, no, 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 no stop, no. just no, no, just yeah, don't just, uh, I, I just, I just, I just yeah. a little, uh, mm, yeah, mm, <laughs> yeah, 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 he kept something kind of important, there. exactly, Patrick. There, there's, yeah, there's one very large thing he kept, exactly, it's, yeah, <laughs> um, but it's like, you know, that was the thing that yeah. I thought too, Steve, is like, you know, he just swept everything away. Shinji's like upset by the idea, but it's like, yeah. no, I mean, Gendo's not thinking of you, Shinji, as the as his son, mm. like with his wife he's thinking of his relationship with his partner yeah. who is gone yeah so he is doing what he can to sweep away things that will remind him of that so he can focus on her not being gone yeah it, you know what i mean yep. so it's like yep. it's mm -hmm. it's that very interesting thing where it's like because shinji's not had that closure yeah you know we don't have any kind of indication that you know how is Shinji informed? Shinji in, mm. in movie one says it's been like three years. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we know there's been a separation in time. It's like, so we don't know what's going on. What does Shinji know that Gendo has done in the intervening right. time? All right. we can see is like, he shows up, his dad says, get in the machine. And then Shinji finds out like, you got rid of mom, everything of moms. Mm. It's like, you, he doesn't know the path that Gendo has taken to get to this moment. Yeah. And he has no idea the way this is just gonna come I out mean, again. I'm like, oh baby. <laughs> so this scene, and and I'm <laughs> I'm thinking of this, and in a way it's funny, and in a way it's not. Um, <laughs> I I I'm thinking of this as we're talking about this, and and then this, there's the realization that Gendo, I don't think sleeps, and I'm mm. and I'm being serious. Mm -hmm. I don't think he really. Yeah. There's no downtime. Um, to quote a, a to quote Henry Rollins, downtime leads to introspection. Introspection is bad. What can I do to yeah. most massively f myself up? Right. Um, um, part of his spoke from the Rollins spoken word, um, and it seems like Gendo is like coasting on like cocaine and amphetamines yep. and just going, 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 yep. going, going. Because yep. you never see the guy sleep. He's yep. in space at one point. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, okay, where did we go? Yeah. How did that? Wait, what a man! Yeah. I was just like, wait, wait whoa! Yeah. We missed the entire launch sequence. How the hell did you get there? <laughs> the wings of Hones. Yeah, but I mean, that's that's part of you know how he's taken his grief mm. and he's channeled it in such a way that it's like, 
all barriers are are gone. You know what I mean? No holds barred. The man is just desperately moving forward. So no sleep? Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me if you said, like, oh, he catnaps because every single moment is entirely focused on what is going on. Shinji be damned, Asuka be damned, you know, to some degree, Ray be damned because it's about getting to his goal. You could argue that... I was just going to say it's the magic of Gendo Akari. Yeah. You could argue that the first movie is about loss and kind of abuse, while the second movie is about dealing with loss and abuse and kind of moving yeah. past it. Yeah. Um, or attempting to, perhaps. Um, yeah, I, Channeling it. It's a good point, Patrick. In a I mean, disturbing way. Well, <laughs> you, you think about End of Evangelion um, and some of the scenes in there, and that, that absolutely feels like the actions of a sleep deprived man. <laughs> yeah. Right, and, and as you say, like some of, some of the later stuff, um, it, it would make sense. Um, yeah. So yeah, so um, uh, Shinji attempts to go home, um, but is interrupted by an angel attack, and the arrival, uh, the much heralded arrival, because as soon as this happens, I think all the fans, all they see need to see are the red legs, and I'm, I'm sure the you know all of the audiences in Japan just erupted um, uh, at, at the arrival. Um, uh, the, the, let's be honest, absurd arrival <laughs> yes. yeah. um, of Asuka. But again, you know, she does not land on a battleship, right? This is not the same entrance right. she had in the TV series. Um, mm-hmm. She's just coming in and, and taking this, this, this thing out from the air. Um, and this is what, I mean, and this is what I had said before. It's like, how many, you know, issues having watched the mm-hmm. TV series, all this other stuff. It's like, I was very pleased the way that they went in the second film because it mm-hmm. gave me so much more. Like, yeah. I loved watching that air fleet come mm-hmm. in. I loved mm-hmm. watching the air drop. I loved watching all this stuff in a mm-hmm. way that took me away from being like, oh, Shinji's a punk and <laughs> Gendo's a real jackass mm-hmm. and I don't like these people. And it's like, okay, shut up, me. Just enjoy the fact <laughs> that this is like an incredible piece of action going on here. Yep. And it's incredibly rendered i'm like mm-hmm. yeah there we go now yep. i'm really on board yeah like so, hooray. so i have to say that that particular angel design is thus far my favorite really yeah it's freaky. Really? <laughs> it is it's a clock but it's yeah. freaky it's, well it's, yeah to me it's one of the the um the um uh what are those uh, the dunking birds yes yeah oh okay. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was like it was like a clock, and I kept thinking of the Doomsday Clock. Oh, yeah. and that's what I was about to say. Is like you yeah. know, it's the countdown to zero for Doomsday for mankind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but of course, Asuka can't help taking it out. Um, of course. Yeah, and we get again a completely different introduction to to Asuka. Um, you know, instead of the uh, the summer dress, we get her in her her plug suit. And again, you were yep. talking before about like adaptation. I think it was really smart of them to say, there's only so much we can get into this movie. <laughs> there are only so many times you're going to see her in a plug suit. Like, you know, there's only so many iconic things you can put in here. Let's throw her in her plug suit because, well, things happen later in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, they do. They do. Woo! <laughs> Indeed, do they. Um, but still, absolutely Asuka uh, and, and doing all the Asuka oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Although I do miss the... the uh drawing down the pants scene right yeah. <laughs> oh it's, that always got me a, that, that, that would give me a chuckle every single time mm-hmm. <laughs> definitely classic um, but again I think a, a, an effective way of introducing the character both in terms of you know awesome moment but also you know just enough of her to recognize okay yep that's the, the personality is still there yeah mm-hmm. um, I love how she's sweet kicks <laughs> <laughs> she's living the dream we all have <laughs> um, and then of course we have Kaji showing up and I think you do a, a more effective job here I think Kaji in the TV mm-hmm. series I wouldn't say more effective but they, they take a different t- tack here I think where yeah. in the TV series Kaji is just kind of a character you know he's just another character in Eva and then later on you find out oh he has all of this you know backstory and all of this you know this, double life type of stuff and he's much more sinister this time around um, yeah. you know from the beginning okay this is a guy we should not trust who has his own agenda um, and I think that, that again it's a, it works for a, a movie where you have to compress the time well and for, for, but for the movie itself the way he is mm. it's almost like he's more nuanced it's, mm. you know what I mean mm-hmm. like where it's mm-hmm. like 
he's sinister, but you know, if you watch the TV series, it's like he's not just a sort of a flat character. Like there's reasoning behind oh, things, and yeah. you're like you're sort of digging around. Hey, let's go out to the mm-hmm. garden, and hey, let's yeah. do stuff, mm-hmm. and hey, how things are going, and I'm just kind of schmoozy, and it's like, mm-hmm. no, he's just he's nuanced in a way that you're like, mm-hmm. wow, okay, you're not just like protagonist you know assistant d (laughs) and then you'll make this next thing happen it's like no you're genuinely an interesting kind of character because it's like how do you fit into all this and what exactly do you know yeah it's like that makes him another element to this where it's like thank you now i've got something else to look at and something else to be like "Mm, yeah this is in in the series in the series he shows up you realize that he you know fairly quickly you realize that he's an agent that he is he is working towards Nerve's goal, we think, in, goal, in the series. Yeah. yeah, Seal's goal. But you never really know that until a certain point in, in the mm-hmm. series. Here, you're right off the bat. He's just like, okay, you guys are fighting this thing, and I'm off. See you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. This is my cue to leave. And you're just like, wait, what are you doing? Yeah. So you immediately know something's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then he shows up, and then he lets slip that he knows who Shinji is. Yep. And, you know, that kind of thing. He's just like, aha, uh-huh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. And she's, and they're just like, the, he and his friends, and Shinji and his friends are just sitting there going, yeah. who the hell is this guy? I and he shows up with Gendo with the thing. Right. And then you're just like, oh, this is a guy. Mm-hmm. This is, this yeah. is somebody. This I- is somebody. And you still don't have enough to put together just yet, but you know that, that there's something underlying and the way he acts, you're just like, like oh, you're, you are, oh, okay. Yeah, there's something interesting <laughs> going on. Patrick yeah. is saying in chat, that Ka- he, he feels Kaji is way less creepy in the movie. Um, it's an interesting mm-hmm. take, because you, know, you do have much more time in the TV series to see all the different sides of him, and all the different kind of thing. I, I think your, your imagination can run a lot more wild in the TV series, about right. what, he, right, what his yeah. agenda might be, and so forth and so on. Uh, whereas in the movie, I think he's... He, he, he feels more like um, an agent in a spy movie. In, yeah, in, 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 secret in, agent. Yeah, yeah, that's, exactly. That's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. Um, Which I really, I think, you know, again, it's, it feels more nuanced. It's like mm. it clicks in on the things that help you sort of address who he is and how he knows things. Mm. And it makes you interested in the character more. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's not just, you know, a, a vehicle that's just plugged in at various points. It's like right. I, I, I'm curious now about his character mm. genuinely. Yeah, and like, the watermelon patch scene actually means more. Yeah. Mm. Means yeah. a lot more to me in, in this than it did in, in the series. In the yeah. series, yeah. it was just kind of like, mm. oh, we're going to talk about this serious subject, and then we're going to go into a different direction to be ha-ha funny. And this mm. is, you know, he's at the end of it, he's just like, I can't do this. you got to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's 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 much better window into his yeah. mind than you get in the TV series. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Shinji and Asuka, you know, living together. Um, which is the point at which I think the movie takes a turn. Um, this is a much funnier movie than 1.0. Like, th- there's a lot of straight-up cartoony reactions in this yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which, again, I really appreciate it, because I think there, there is space for it, there is reason for it. Um, as the characters are kind of getting to, to know it, um, uh, uh, getting to interact more, um, and, uh, and, and the plot works that way. And I was like, thank you. you know, again, kind of playing around with, with these scenes as opposed to making it feel angst all the time. Well, I just enjoyed the scene where they're arguing and yeah. Oscars just keep opening and closing the yeah. door. <laughs> the Japanese, the Japanese, the Japanese selling themselves. Like, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, it does make me wonder for the, for the cartoony sort of like lightning, mm. whether there was like generally you know storyboarded out and it was really heavy mm. and like people sat down and be like oh you know <laughs> really this is going to be like something that's going to be really tough for people to sit through an hour plus on and be like yeah. we need to do something to like let them come up for a breath of air i don't know <laughs> like there was a lot of comedy at this stage in the tv series too yeah like the, yeah. dropping the, the pants um yeah. so i think it, it might have been just they were like um uh, it, it could have been it's a meeting halfway but they were like um, there's comedy in the original, so it, you know it works, and th- this could be really serious and dramatic. So let's make sure that we punch that up, so that yeah. it, you know um, uh, it doesn't get that that bad, so to speak. 
Um, it's really possible. Yeah, as I was say, because I, if you had removed it, 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 it worked fine for the TV series, and I expected yeah. that out of it. Mm-hmm. You know, no offense, yep. but I mean, I expected that out of the TV series, you're gonna have some goofy mm-hmm. stuff happening. Yep. Um, but you know, going back and looking at this, be like, if you had removed that, this yeah. is just like a crushing weight of a film to watch. Mm. <laughs> like you need something in there. It's like okay, so they brought that over from the TV series to be like, that's fine. But it's like, yep. you know, somebody had to have been like, um, let's just keep going with that thing because I think it's better. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, can't say. Um, we also get, and this this scene makes me laugh every time. Um, Asuka discovering Pen Pen for the first time. Um, yes, and the gag just with like the, Shinji. Yep, the gag with the can <laughs> and the little straw. Just, <laughs> yeah, I love this. <laughs> like really. <laughs> you know, and I, I think they just reuse the exact same animation. Like I think it's just literally just the, the same movement of the hand from the can, and just a yeah. different thing in the background. It's like it's, it's cute. Um, um, I completely agree, Patrick. The one thing missing from this this uh, this movie is the dance sequence. Uh, yeah. The synchronization of Shinji and Asuka and that whole sequence, I think, was really well done. Um, and again, obviously cut for time, but I think it... it um, I was waiting for that in the movie. And when it didn't happen, I was like, yeah. aww. You know. um, but yeah, we, 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 we get a bit more with the characters. Um, um, yeah, Pen Pen just exists. Well, Pen Pen's God. Um, well, Pen Pen is, is... Well, you see him at the at the... At the conservatory, mm-hmm. yeah, addressing the other penguins, right? Like, you do. Oh, worship me, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so we get all that, and then we get a freaking Mamoru Oshii sequence, um, with the, the whole, you know, the 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 turning of the solar panels, and yeah. mm-hmm. and and like a plane going over, which is a classic, you know, Mamoru Oshii move, which is this plane going overhead, all these people just going on about their daily lives. Um, in Tokyo 3, and it just... Ghost in the show. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, I've watched anime too, uh, I would say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and then you get this really interesting moment um, of uh, uh, Shinji um, uh, coming down and seeing, and, and obviously be, being Shinji, um, but then mm-hmm. he looks up, and he smiles and waves at his friends. And it's like, oh, okay. All right. Shinji has friends. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and we definitely get that sense of normality. And the reason I bring this up is because in the TV series, um, one of my, I wouldn't say complaints, but one, one of, one of the, the unfortunate sort of uh, things that happened is that Shinji does get to a better place in that like the middle third of the TV series. Um, he's pretty mm-hmm. stable. Um, but that's the exact same point that Asuka comes in, and it becomes sort of the Asuka show for like seven episodes. And so you don't really see much of Shinji for that period until things happen, um, and Shinji has a you know it has to has to take out the other Eva, and he he plunges back into depression again. And so I appreciate that the movie we we get a bit of that. We do get a bit of okay, Shinji's starting to come out of his shell. He's starting to kind of get there. Um, you know, he's getting a normal life. He's hanging out with his friends. Um, um, although his friend who like you know kicked the tar and feather out of him yes. for injuring yeah. his little sister, but you know, you know yeah. Um, if you can't love the people that hurt you, what can well, you? Oh wait, um, we'll get there as well. <laughs> Kiss with the fist. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, and then he, love, he loves his daddy, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. And then to your point, Gendo in space. Um, <sighs> um, although, although it does give us two yeah. really great images. Mm-hmm. He gives us the image of the thing on the moon. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That god awful monstrosity. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then when they say it's terrible what they did to the earth, yeah. and you see it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we see that no, in, the, in, in, in the in the series. Mm-hmm. And you see it, you're just like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, we have this abstract knowledge that the yeah. angels are coming yeah. in. Something bad happened. Something bad happened. Something bad happened. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, the whole bo- the whole oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you know the whole thing is this this 
like red hole. Yeah, and it's just, yeah, just like tried it, but yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Of the ship that Gendo and his buddy are on. Yeah. God, why does so that remind Gundam. me from like a 1960s? It, space no, no, space no, 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 it's no, no. Yep, that is. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, it is, I was like, I know much, that ship. Yep, no, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like, yep. okay, Space yep. 1999. Yep. Because you. again, Arno is a nerd. Um. <laughs> I had a friend who had that had a mm. diecast model. Uh, nice. I, was like, I, I actually had that. Um, I had the thing. Oh, that if, cool. if, if you want a plastic model, um, apparently they made a lot of them back in the day, and they did not sell. So if you go on eBay, you will find many, <laughs> many of those models for sale now. Oh, oh that's sad. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you look at like, like sci-fi models, you know, plastic models on eBay. That's like half of them. <laughs> It's kind of sad. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, but then we go we go to the uh, uh, the aquarium. Um, classic school field trip. Uh, yes. And we Who get, doesn't love an aquarium? I, I again, the sequence does make me laugh every time. Um, of all of them taking all of the you know the the, the various baths, uh, you know, oh, and yes. all of them yeah. flailing and always hilarious. Ray in the background just sort of standing there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm used to this. And everyone else is just like, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. Which is nice to see at like this point. Mm-hmm. They address the red water. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like, thank you. Rather rather than just like starting out, be like, oh yeah, Tokyo Bay. It's all red. Mm-hmm. And moving on. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. No, why? What the hell's going mm-hmm. on here? And it's like they actually address that. They actually discuss, yeah. like, oh yeah all these species that can't survive in that i'm like thank you mm-hmm. i really was curious to know yeah. it was just kind of, it was kind of interesting for me to see like how in this universe the kids immediately don't know what they're looking at yeah yeah what's that thing with the show yeah, uh, yeah. and yeah the oh it just looks like a, this oh i think it's called a turtle i'm like mm-hmm. it's a freaking turtle of course it is <laughs> mm-hmm. you know but, you, you guys know, don't it, have like mutual Omaha's. It's all destroyed. Um, and and again, you know, to that point, um, um, the scene communicates world building. It's also an important character moment for for Ray. Um, mm-hmm. yep. you know, she can only survive. Um, but it's also a moment of um, uh, of symbolism. Of you know, what are the children but trapped in this little box? You know, can't go anywhere except, you know, in Nerve HQ, basically. That's where they are as well. Um, and so I, I think it, it, it works well symbolically in the film, uh, too. Um, and we get a, you know, fun little moment with, with all the characters hanging around, having their lunch in the aquarium. Um, 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 and, yeah, just, and again, nice scene. Um, yeah, there we go. There we go. It, yeah. We cut back to space. I forgot, and there, there we see the hole in the earth, um, big, big red angry hole. Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember what else. Oh, and we get the uh, the uh, the Nausicaa moment as well with Misato getting saved. Um, just straight up Nausicaa, the whole pencil sketchy thing. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, and then we get the the next angel. Um, where they all have to work together. And, and again, this is one of those things where this basically replaces some of the stuff in the TV series of synchronization right. and so forth. Yeah. Um, but I think it works really nicely um, as this sense of we have this really desperate thing and we need all three of you to do this thing um, all at once. Um, and Asuka doesn't want to because she's Asuka. <laughs> um, but she can do it on her own. She can do it she's on her own. Yeah. fully capable. Fully capable. Um, and then here's where I think we get the first, like, actual hint where Shinji goes, you know, sitting in the, in the, in the unit one feels like mom. Um, and it feels like Ray. I was like, you're perceptive, I'm... Shinji. <laughs> oh. uh, no, this is why Gendo threw all the pictures away, because mm. he doesn't want you to, oh, God, yep. it's just horrible. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Um, and, and, but again, it's one of those. It, that is a great way for you know for your audience if you haven't seen any of this before to go. Why the hell would he say that? What a weird yeah. thing. You know, it's like, no, he's he's right. <laughs> yeah, and for everybody else to be like, ah, oh, Creepsville, no. Yep. Let's like, a, oh, we have to go there, don't we? Oh, we um, do. I also appreciated, and again, just as an animation geek, 
um, when all the three Evas start, um, uh, and they're all in these running positions, um, Shinji starts off, and he starts off a little slow. Um, Asuka slips, uh, and Ray just moves efficiently. You know, just this straight line the entire time. Like, yeah, good, good, you know, yeah, thinking it through. Um, uh, yeah, and then it comes in, um, and, and again, Shinji's getting there. Like, he, he's, he's the one who gets there, and he's like, all right, Masato, do the thing. She does the thing. And, like, there's clearly now a simpatico thing between him and Masato, and Shinji is just focused. Um, it's really great to see. Um... Um, and sure enough, they, they, they do the thing, despite the pain, despite everything else. Um, and it's just a really, like, I, to me, this is a classic Evangelion, you know, Evangelion versus Angel scene um, sequence. Um, this is everything I, I would want out of this sequence. Um, let's see here. Um, if Ray is a clone of his mom, why is her, her hair blue? That's a good question. I've never, I've never heard the answer to that. Yeah. Um, could be a cloning thing. I don't know. Be, the, because we have to have some different switches. Although, just go no yes. and just turn everything off. Because uh-huh. it looks better <laughs> in a model. Gendo thought her hair would look better. Blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then again, another shocker. Oh, goodness. Um, yep. As Good Gendo, job. yep. Gendo does the thing. He literally <laughs> calls Shinji and goes, "Good job." Um, and it's like, wow. Because I remember watching this and going, that's awesome. He's manipulating him again. Yep. He's telling Shinji yeah. exactly what he wants to hear. Yeah. And it's like, oh, 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 how genuine is this? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, hey, as long it, as it keeps Shinji in the robot, that's all that matters. Right. I'm sure Which, you know, Shinji's as, happy. As, and as we found out, that is a foolproof plan. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll get that. <laughs> Set of arms and legs is better than nothing, right? right. <laughs> Dummy plugs don't work so good in the end. <laughs> well, actually. Um, and we get a little, uh, little scene between Asuka and, and Shinji, um, which is, I'll admit, this is one of the scenes that, I, that for me didn't work too well when Asuka comes in and like lays down next to Shinji uh, and have a little talk. It just didn't feel like very Asuka to me. Um, no. Um, especially, you know, panties and a shirt. Just felt a little like, really? She'd do that? Um, but it serves the purpose of having them talk out a little bit about what they're doing. Um, yeah, I could have lived with that with them. Like, yeah, something I mean, noise in the kitchen, and right. Shinji gets up and goes in. She's just sitting down having a glass of water or something, right, and they have yeah. the same conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, it's like this felt like edging little little fan service oh and it, is, that, it is like, it is 100 percent fan service there's no question yeah or it's um, like mm, yeah because um, the conversation can occur without that scene mm-hmm. yeah but that's that's fine hey you know however you get people in the theater right that's, that's <laughs> right. fine um yeah and isn't that not the first or the last time that we see um yes uh yeah well ray putting on her plug suit right mm-hmm. you know like anybody who's putting on a plug suit yep Mm-hmm. Mari Illustrious putting on a plug suit. Oh, that fits very nicely. Like, oh, stop doing that. <laughs> oh, and I really so like nice. the visual storytelling here where um, we see Shinji all throughout the movie looking across the classroom at Rei. Because yeah. it's something they, they did in the TV series, but in the movie they repeat it and they repeat it several more times. You're like, why are they doing this so often? Um... And then we see Shinji preparing meals. And I remember at the time, something in the back of my brain said, there's something odd about this shot of the meals. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I realized now it's too many meals. It's like, why is he preparing four meals? That doesn't make sense. Um, and then, of course, you realize um, he made one for Ray. Yep. And brought it over. And what a sweet, sweet thing for him to do. Um, well, it's, it's interesting because, you know, the, his experience with the, her living space is, mm-hmm. like, bloody gauze, <laughs> like, stark in, you know, institutional yep. environment, and medication. Yep. It's like there wasn't anything, like, you know, particularly, like, homey or, like, yep. 
you know, real, like the synthetic kind of stuff that she's ingesting all the time. Yep. It's like, oh, so he's done something like, hey, have some real actual food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, here's something that doesn't remind you of the Saw movies. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's which, not cup noodle, which you're used to, I'm sure. Yeah. But here, have which, a real meal. By the way, um, it's actually just next to me right now. Ray doesn't eat. Like literally, we never see her eat. And yeah, later on, doesn't she, doesn't, she, doesn't, she, doesn't she take in some of the miso soup though? Uh, no, I, she can. I mean, I mean, she is able to oh, consume okay. food, but right. we never they don't see never her show her. Yeah, uh, yeah, she never okay. eats at a meal. And when she is with Gendo later on, she has pills, pills. on her plate. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, as a clone, I wonder if that's a thing that she can't like ingest full meals really. Oh, that's geez. interesting yeah I don't know she's living the Jetsons life yeah exactly <laughs> like here you go here's that pill that pill that pill yeah um yeah so we get Masato and Kaji and the you know here's Masato and Kaji arc um and then um I don't remember um then we get yeah uh, and, and now we start finding out more about Ray, and we, we see Ray in the actual Bakta tank um with yeah. Endo, like, oh okay gotcha now now we know <laughs> By the way, and let's just get this out of the the, the uh, out of the way. Naked wearing a collar, not subtle. <clears throat> you know, let's just let's just put it out there. It's just a heart monitor yeah, around exactly. her neck, right? That's all. Mm-hmm. It's simple. Totally, totally. It's not showing submission to get no. Not at all. Plan, right? <sighs> but to that point, <clears throat> this <clears throat> is where it starts to change this is where it starts to fall apart for Gendo because this is where Rey starts to act on her own yeah and he's like I want to do the thing and Gendo goes no I can't and then he sees Yui yep. um, and I, I love that he gets like 90% through the scene sees it and goes like, damn it uh, yeah okay I can do that <laughs> well it, you know when she's in the tank you know the uh, <clears throat> submission thing, and um, and he goes, "I would like to have dinner with you tonight." I just, but I, I think I actually had a visceral response to that. <laughs> I was just like, "Oh, come on, really? Can't we just cut to the scene?" But I go, Steve. You scene. would you would have preferred if you been like, "And wear this dress and these shoes." Be like, "Oh, yeah, God. Like, no, no, oh, oh, geez. Well, better than saying, oh. "Don't wear anything at all." I mean, come <laughs> on. stop it. Fair right. enough, Brent. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they get to the point where, where she's actually talking to him about yeah. the dinner. You know, about yeah. the dinner. Do you like this? Yeah. Do you? Yes, I do. Do you like that? Yes, I do. Do you like? And then she gets to the question of, let's have dinner with Shinji. And then suddenly he gives lie to everything else that he just said. And he goes, yeah. No, I have. I'm busy. Oh, Yui. Hi. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to do that. And then I'm just like, oh, okay. This is the amphetamine breakdown. All right. This is where, the, you know, you know, not enough cocaine in the world is going to stop yeah, that. Issue. Exactly. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Um, he kind of makes a decision, uh, which is not part of the plan. Um, yeah. Uh, and because, again, though, and everything's part of the plan. Right. So not, and, all, not on plan is unusual <laughs> and again what i love yeah. about this, this this moment is this is basically in a sense this is yui asking you know asking gendo to take care of it. like not just yui like ghost yui like this is yui in the moment saying hey you're not taking care of your son right you need to do a family thing right now um yeah. and he's like oh mm, yeah, yes dear <laughs> basically okay, so yeah, i'm gonna stop doing the creepy thing of trying to recreate adam and eve but you know okay yeah, yeah fine Exactly. Um, yeah. And then another sort of comedic scene with them all hanging around the, uh, doing the tests, uh, bored out of their skulls. Um, mm-hmm. Which again, I just appreciate the, uh, the uh, uh, bit of comedy there. Um, uh, and then Mari shows up again, literally out of the blue. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and this is again where I think Anno, it, it feels kind of awkward, her introduction, but there's also a certain element of Bono going, it's anime. Like, does it does it matter? Like, she just she just shows up. It's okay, you know. <laughs> I 
to well, look. Well, also it it argues towards her being a trained professional again. Yeah, mm-hmm. because she doesn't show up on a train. Oh, she doesn't show up on a boat. Yeah, she mm-hmm. shows yeah. up by infiltrating mm-hmm. the area. Yeah. She yeah. comes in. She's a trained person to mm-hmm. operate a parachute. She's yep. not just like mm-hmm. flailing, falling yep. down. Yeah, okay. The anime part is like she lands on shit. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but here you have a trained operative. Yeah. Who's inserted like clandestinely into this area. This is the target. She's supposed to get to the school. Right. And she is parachuted in and she, you know, fumbles with Shinji, but that's still fine. It's like, right. okay, this is another point. She's a trained person doing this thing. <laughs> like, oh, okay. And it's and it's really kind of weird how she how she, you know, she has the conversation on the phone and she goes, mm-hmm. Well, just make sure the extraction happens. And yeah. you're just like, okay, yeah, more to the professionalism. But yeah. then she turns around, she goes, Hey, this didn't happen, right? Right, (laughs) which is a lot like Kaji. Like that's the Mm -hmm. the operative Mm -hmm. element of her training, where he's doing his little thing. He's got other things going on, and so's Mari. She's got her thing and her objectives Mm -hmm. and her directives to do the thing. I'm like, ah, gosh. Although for for a moment there, when she sniffs out, sniffs him out. Yeah, (laughs) I I thought she was gonna bite him. Mm-hmm. For Motown, it's like, oh god, this is the eating scene, isn't it? This is where they, okay, this is where it all goes south. But you know, she sniffs him out, and she's, mm, you smell good. You smell like the the fluid. I'm just like, well, where? Hey, well, hey, no king hey. shame. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, you could have gone I, like full on fan server and had her like nibble his ear or something or like something. that. So, oh, was, you know, they they, yeah. they did a good job to dial it back a little bit. So you're just slightly creeped out, you know? <laughs> like, okay, cool. Again, no okay, okay. weird. This is yeah. But but, but 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 the thing is, is that she does that intimate moment so that when she gets up, she goes, mm-hmm. "We're not going to talk about this." Uh, mm-hmm. see yep. Yeah, and I think that was all part of the mm-hmm. thing, mm-hmm. you know. And then she disappears. Now, if it was me. And that happened to me if I was Shinji, you know, some, you know, busty girl just dropped out of the sky on top of me and sniffed me out. I'd be like, guys, guys, look, let me tell you what happened. And probably everyone would be like, well, no, that didn't happen. Well, no, this is the thing. Stop, stop reading, stop reading no, manga. But, but this okay? is the thing. Yeah. The reason Shinji is so shocked is because he knows there are men in black watching him at all times. Right. And that nobody stepped in on this. So he's like, wait a minute. Like there's there there are wheels within wheels going on in this scene of like yeah. you know you, you you should have been tackled by now like something is going on weird here, um, but I also realized just now um, there there is a little reference to what we were talking about before with, with Mari's character because she falls down and she immediately does a classic anime trope, my glasses. My glasses. Megami. Yeah, oh, Megane. Megane. <laughs> Megane. Which, again, may have been a reference back to that, her being the clumsy girl. Uh, you know, just a little bit of that in, in, in the, the shot. But I was like, oh, that's cute. Um, uh, yeah, and then uh, Kaji shows up and creeps on Shinji for a moment. Um, oh, because yeah. you can't not have that. Um, and takes much to the, to the, to the, uh, the watermelon field, as, as you were saying. Um, and yeah, I really like the scene. I think it 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 got across a lot um, in that very Kaji way, um, where he's obviously he's playing a long game, and yeah. this is all very deliberate. Um, but he is also not a psychopath um, entirely. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> he, he is like, hey, you know, you're with Masato. I, I know realistically, like, Misato, even if we have a fling, even if something happens, like, her heart's not in it. Um, you know, this is not going to be a long-term relationship with her. Um, but Shinji, you know, you and her have a relationship, so let's spend some time together, get an idea of, of where you are, and see if you can actually protect her. Um, but, yeah, really cool scene. Um, and then back to Which I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want it. But it did sort of like drift through my mind, be like, this would be the perfect opportunity if he, if Kaji was really like, you know, be good to Masato, don't do anything crazy because you realize bodies are good fertilizer for water. <laughs> like, this would have been an interesting. Yeah, you could have been injected some sinister moment about the right? watermelon field and like, mm-hmm. but no, 
it's like no mm-hmm. it's, yeah, actually, it's actually it's yeah. actually a very nice that's a good point it gives a little more flesh to the background of kaji and doesn't yeah. It doesn't yeah. make him menacing in that way. It's a great point. And you could play for comedy, right? Where he's right. Just kind of, you know, doing that. Or it could be playing menacing. But it's a very straight scene into that. that yeah. Way. It's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And then I, I do have to say we get more shots of the, uh, the city. And this is where the, the CGI background characters stop working for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's some where they're just kind of going through there at like, Five frames yeah. a second. It's like I, I yeah. You, mm, you need something else in front of those things for us to not notice them and be yeah. focused on them. So a few shots in the movie which where it does uh, uh, kind of. Well, you know the out. scene where she does where Masada does the Tokyo drift on the exit ramp. Yeah. Have you ever notice that the cars that go in and the end the pass and suddenly they're not there on the other side. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's te- advanced teleportation. There we go. Yeah. Sure, it's oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and speaking of fans, magic, service, Steve, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of fans, yeah, service, Curry magic. Um, Asuka um, uh, cooking in a bra and a uh, and a yeah. <laughs> and the apron. And all <sighs> and like, sure, okay, uh huh, yeah, right, yeah. Um, which again, in character, right? Like it's not ridiculous, but still, it's kind of like, yeah, sure, right, right, right. Right, it's not a naked apron, so you know, right, we, right. We've, yeah, dialed, yeah. we've dialed it back by a piece of clothing. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, well, two pieces of clothing. She's wearing shorts. Okay, true. Well, I was just talking about the upper portion that well, they yeah. do actually look at fairly cleanly, mm-hmm. and then yes, it's like, yeah. okay, yeah, it's, it's very clear. You took the high road on that one, ish. <laughs> middle road, maybe Mid- yeah, middle road. Middle road. road. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and then uh, and then next angel shows up. Um, oh no! I'm sorry. Not not nice. Angel shows up. Um, unit six is wiped out. Mm-hmm. Um, which again, just a bit of world building, a, a bit of, of escalating the tension there. Um, nothing too crazy, but just a little bit of uh oh, bad things happening. Yeah. Um, uh, and then um, just again, a, a, a bit more, just kind of randomly building things up. Another um, meeting with Seely. Um, Asuka finding out that her unit's being mothballed temporarily uh, and her as expected reality to, uh, react to that. Yeah, yeah. basically. Um, and then we get <clears throat> this is a scene where I practically stood up and cheered. The elevator scene. For those who haven't seen the TV series there is a famous scene in the TV <clears throat> series where they had to stretch their budget a little bit and so Asuka goes into an elevator. It's Asuka and, and Ray in the elevator for, I think it's like 45 it's long seconds. Long yeah, and it's, it's long just long. this shot. <laughs> There's just, yeah. mm, in the background, it's just them in the elevator. Nothing moving, nothing. Just them. Asuka glaring and Ray just like. Right. Uh-huh. And, and for well, 45 I mean, seconds, you're for just 45 like. 45 seconds, they're going from like level one to like level three million. I right. mean, so it takes a while. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Obviously, a, a, a scene that fans were not thrilled with in the original <laughs> TV series. Like, okay, we can tell what's happening here. Yeah, there's um, not a lot to look at no. in this scene. No offense <laughs> to, to that. Um, one, yeah. And so Asuka's sitting there, and then she kind of goes, and she kind of, and then she turns on Ray. Um, and I, I just, I love Anno playing with the audience a little bit of going, I could do it. I could totally do this. I could totally just I could totally it. tick you off. Here's yeah. another 45 seconds of, of you just going, and? Yeah. <laughs> and? <laughs> um, uh, but then you have, you know, the conversation where suddenly Ray fights back, like verbally. Um, and if you recall in the original TV series, Asuka slaps Ray. Let's not, yeah. She just yeah. whack. And this time, no. Ray grabs the arm, and we get the lovely symbolism. And I'll see if I can if I can find it. Yeah. Of all the bandages on Ray's fingers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and how much she is working at this. Uh, and how much effort she is putting in that Asuka is not. Um and I love that Asuka knows it. You know, it is not lost on Asuka at all that she thinks she's hot, but really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah, just just great sort of inversion of that scene, uh, which is an important character moment. Um, let's see here. Um, I remember the, uh, yeah, and then the Masato Kaji scene, which is just kind of a, a thing. Um, to, to me, this felt like a little bit of a wasted scene, the two of them. Like, it, it establishes who they are and what's going on and so forth, but we don't right. really move anywhere with it, which felt un- unfortunate. Um, I'm just I, waiting for the gunshot. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was something. Um, I love the ambiance. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful scene, but it just kind of feels like, okay. Yeah. We, yeah. Um, We're just padding out the time for the film. That's kind of, just yeah. trying to hit that critical time. Yeah. Um, um, and then, yeah, then Ray calls Asuka and thanks her. Really kind of movement, action. That's good, good. Um, uh, and then, I'm trying to remember, yeah, and then we have Asuka suiting up. And again, what a scene. Um, because we get a couple things going on here. A, those of us who've known the TV series, we know what's going to happen next. Yeah. And we know this is not the character that's supposed to be here doing this. And we're like, are they, they? They can't. They can't do that. That's not what's going to happen. So what's going to happen? Yeah, happen. Yeah, right. um, you have Asuka finally having an actual conversation with somebody, and having a conversation that she actually like opens up a little bit about, and starts to feel a little bit better about, and starts to become a normal person about. Um, and you have her, um, like deliberately call out how absurdly fan service these bug suits are. Yeah. <laughs> because, and again, I remember when, when like, that visual was revealed on the internet, and the internet was like, the, like, really? Like, that, that, this can't, this, this must be, like, Sadamoto playing around with us. Like, you, you don't actually put that in the movie, right? And, uh, and she's... No, it's, it's there. Yeah. And here it is. Yeah. <laughs> and I love her line, like, what pervert designed this suit? It's like, yeah. <laughs> Well, so so the lead up when they're bringing the Ava, in, yeah, the <clears throat> the new Ava in, and <laughs> I'm sorry, this is going to be such an obscure reference for some mm. people. Um, as they're bringing it in, I actually really did have the song "Suicide Is Painless" going through my head ah. as the because they have really? from Ash because mm. because in in the movie Ash Ash okay, the yeah. movie which started the series. They actually have a character who wants to die, and those, so they they mock him. They give him a mock tale to say that he died, uh, and then they fly him through a helicopter, and he's just doing that. Okay, he's being flown around, and then the song "Suicide Is Painless" is is, yeah. is playing underneath it. Wow! So here you have this Ava in the cross, like Christ, like figure, mm. you know, nailed to the cross, yeah. whatever, you know, being transferred, and, <laughs> and the song "Suicide Is Painless" yep. going through my head. And then, like you said, you have all this stuff that's coming up and mm-hmm. Oscar's having a real conversation and Misato is going, you're going to have all these wonderful new experiences. And that's when I go, no, you're not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you're not. You're wearing a red shirt. No, you're not. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Um, um, and just, you know, the build up of all this. And then the fact that, like, you know, and Oscar sits in and she's all content and she's like, Ah, I feel like a new lease on life, basically. And you're yeah. like, oh no, we're gonna and do it. Death flag. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, no. Wow. Um, and I so appreciate deeply the fact that she climbs in, she has this weird psychedelic experience, and we cut away, and we never see Asuka from that point on. Through the rest of the sequence we have no idea right. what's going on in there there's no screams there's no nothing like thank you thank you for not traumatizing us with that you know with yeah. what she's going through in there um as it goes berserker um, um and everyone realizes what's going on um uh, and then it goes, goes we have the you know the Classic thing, um, and this plays out pretty much like the TV series, as I recall, mm-hmm. um, where he, you know, he, he sees it coming. Uh, it's even pretty much the same, the same music. Um, he realizes what he has to do, um, so they engage the dummy plug system, um, uh, and it, uh, uh, as he is kind of dying, um, and uh, take it out, 
um, switch it over. Um, um, Gendo makes the makes the decision that we got we got to switch it over. Um, and here's the thing. Um, seeing this scene initially, you know, obviously Shinji doesn't want to do the thing. He doesn't yeah. want, want to attack. Um, he was hesitant before, but this time I felt it, it the hesitance totally felt earned. It wasn't like, mm-hmm. I am frozen up. It was like, I am deeply uncomfortable with doing this. Like, he was willing to fight. But this, it didn't feel like him running away or him him being whatever. Right. He was just like, morally, I, I am not ready for this. And then just things happen faster than he could kind of react to it. Yeah. Um, so to me, that kind of, that, that worked uh, for this sequence. Uh, and then, of course, they have to do the dumb plug system. Um, uh, and it does its thing um, as it goes berserker um, and goes all bestial and uh, basically consumes the other, uh, the other Eva. Um, and then again, and you know, we do get the one moment where it has the entry plug in there, and we see it bubbled. So yeah. we know, okay, yeah, things have happened inside there. Um, and then we hear Asuka scream, but again, I, again, I appreciate that we hear the scream, but it's not long and drawn out. It's, you know, it's not any of that. It's just, okay, she felt pain, and then it was over. Thank you. Um, um, uh, and then we, yeah, we, we cut back. Um, to everything going on, um, and Shinji is going flipping insane. And again, this is one of those things where I was like, thinking back to all the moments in the TV series where Shinji kind of turns, this feels earned, right? This felt mm-hmm. to me like, it is clearly, <laughs> again at one point says, we don't have time for, uh, um, for his, his tantrum, basically, and I'm like, it's accurate, he, it, it, this is a tantrum, but it yeah. does feel like somebody being pushed <clears throat> so far so hard and asked to do something morally reprehensible that he's just kind of snapped and he's just you know it, it's it's the kid you know throwing the punch you know at, yeah. at, 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 at the at you know his dad's stomach or something uh just just the ball of rage is like how could you you know ask me to do this yeah um well it's like he's not when he recognizes that the the mm. the plug can't eject yeah it's trapped Mm-hmm. in the other unit yeah. and it's like you know it's going through his head it's like he's not fighting an angel yeah he's not fighting like some you know dispassionate robot mm-hmm. that's just he needs to shut it down yeah you know yeah he's got to do a thing that's going to result in the death of another person yeah, yeah. he has to it's murder like, a girl so, yeah, a, a, yeah. A murder a girl that he knows yeah. that right. has some connection to yeah. right so, and it's like so that's a different thing that's being asked of him it's like an angel is sort of a, a disembodied you know yeah great big giant something that he's not friends with yeah that he doesn't live with yeah that he doesn't you know have any kind of connection to and it's like and now it's like hey you know that person that you live with go ahead and kill them yeah you're like mm-hmm. oh crap yep. so you know you're right shinji's got he's got like valid reasons to like be completely off his rocker right now mm-hmm. and yeah. he's 14 yeah yeah mm-hmm. totally. i mean you know what did yeah, you I'd mean, stop honestly, on headquarters <laughs> and was, i mean i mean seriously what would you expect from yeah. a 14 year old kid yeah. mm-hmm. and you know with the ability of going like oh you know what i've got this thing that i'm in now mm-hmm. and i'm i'm not happy so here i am pounding the crap out of this headquarters <laughs> and you know this is this <clears throat> there's a but you're right this is the one point where it, it it's it's plausible and it's it's not plausible it's 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 um entirely understandable why he would act this way it's not it's not Shinji being emo it's not him being wishy-washy and, you know all that stuff yeah. it's actually him just being you know okay this is what i do every day every day every yeah. day every day that he's not really trained for honestly right I mean, yeah you know yeah and which is the the which is the big difference between him and Marie and yeah. and you know the, that kind of a thing and he comes in and you know everyone at nerve okay so the fact that everyone's still inside the nerve headquarters <laughs> things, i'm just like like yeah. i'm like like isn't there like another like like command bunker maybe all yeah. of you could move to yeah <laughs> starting the sub basement just saying <laughs> yeah you know could, could you move there because mm-hmm. things now nah, there's not enough armor anyway. can't get through that yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be hilarious if we cut to like a root cellar you know and they're all just huddled <laughs> in a root cellar <laughs> <laughs> like 
like canned goods on shelf. <laughs> <laughs> really? We're nerve? And this is what we're reduced to. Shinji's going nuts of the robot. What do you want us to do? Like, Pass me the peaches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which reminds me of my favorite far side cartoon of all time. Um, it shows nuclear explosions going on uh, above. And then below, it's a, um, a bunker with cans and cans and cans and cans. And an old couple and the woman is going... You should put in a, you, you should you should put a can opener down there. I said, just put a can opener down there. At some point, I said. <laughs> um, anyway, um, which is why when Shinji then refuses to pilot this time, again thinking back, I was like, this is so different than what happened before. Right. You know, Shinji doesn't run away. Shinji is essentially refusing to cooperate with his abuser and an abusive yeah. organization. He's like, no, this is wrong. You're wrong. And further, you just built a dummy pl- an automated system that pilots the EVA exactly the way you want to. So, great. Do that. I will have no part of this anymore. And the fact that Shinji is, is standing there looking his father in the face full on yeah. and saying, I refuse to pilot the EVA is just such a welcome shift for what happened before. Where, yes, again, he is he is turning his back on it, but he's not running away. He's not just, I can't handle it anymore. He's like, this is a moral decision on his point, on his part. Um, which I just really appreciate it. Well, it's, you're seeing Shinji's progression from being a 14-year-old kid mm-hmm. to being a man. Yeah. You know what I mean? In, like, because of unusual circumstances yeah, yeah, yeah. rather yeah. rather by, by by any term you know it's <laughs> unusual yeah and he's adulting into this mm-hmm. yeah unnaturally un, you know unexpectedly right um and it you know this moment it's like he's not looking up at gendo mm-hmm. from below mm-hmm. and yeah. trying to be like yeah. love me daddy love me mm-hmm. daddy you know you're oh yep. you're so far mm-hmm. away from me He's yep. still far away from Gendo, yeah. but he's on the same level exactly. as Gendo, and he's yep. addressing him <clears throat> in a more adult form yeah. of I object morally and conditionally to this, you know, unconditionally to this thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, it's, wow, that's that's quite a maneuver <laughs> yeah. to come well, to the same absolutely. level. Like, well, well, this, and the, the, here's the thing is that it scared the crap out of Gendo. Yeah. Because look at, because look at you, got, you put a 14-year-old kid in, in not just handcuffs, but those handcuffs. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Like triple yeah. handcuffs, yeah. Okay, triple yeah. handcuffs, okay. And he is feet away. Oh, like yeah. He is, he is like easily, he is. you know, 50, 60 yeah. feet away from mm. the desk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, so Gendo is, he's got, he's on the same level as Gendo, like at this point. And Gendo is just like, he tries one last thing. He really yes. just tries one more last manipulation. Mm-hmm. He goes, oh, you're, so you're running away again? Mm-hmm. again? And, and, and Shinji's just like, no. Yeah, it bounces yeah. entirely off Shinji. Shinji's yeah. like, F you, no. Mm-hmm. That's just not what this is about. This yeah. is, you know, you, you are blankety blankety blank. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, because we're not 10 o'clock just yet. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But, you know, but Gendo is keeping him away. And he's talking to him like he's 14. And he's like, you have done this. You yeah, have done that. Yeah. You have blah, yeah. blah, blah. blah. Know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we're going to slap your wrist. And I know that because you're a weak little whatever it's not, then, you know, you're going to go want me to have my approval. So you're just going to clap. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, crap. This isn't working. Uh, oh, okay. And I think that, you know, you know, in a perfect world, if we knew exactly what was going on on Anu's head, mm. I'm pretty sure Gendo made that phone call to Masato. Mm. Mm-hmm. And said, try. Try and keep him, keep mm-hmm. him there. Mm-hmm. I mean, we'll Possibly. keep him with tabs on, but if you keep yeah. him, and never mind, because she tries. Mm-hmm. She oh, tries absolutely. Really mm-hmm. hard to keep yeah. him in the apartment. And, and to that point, I think, you know, to anyone saying that, you know, Shinji's running away again, Masato doesn't think so. Mm-mm. You know, she, she's not sitting there going, oh, you're running away again. No, she's sympathetic. Um, she's like, I don't want you to run away. I want you to stay here. Um, yeah. But it, it's much more of a, like, I, I see where you're coming from. <laughs> you know? And, uh. Well, her movement is not the slap that she did in movie one. Right. And it's the grab. 
and she still misses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she loses in both, in whatever it is that she's trying to do. In one, in one yep. hand, she's fighting to be whether the mother or the superior officer. And this, she's doing the same way, doing the same thing. She chooses a different tag, and she fails in that one too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, the, in the in the moment of slapping, she's in in the same proximity as Shinji, mm-hmm. and this where she misses grabbing him. Shinji's accelerating away from this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's yeah, exactly. moving out of range mm-hmm. of this. Yeah. And it's like that's you know his coming up to the level of his father, mm-hmm. his getting out of range of her. It's like mm-hmm. he's he's moving psychologically. Yeah. You know, phys- physically is the easier part mm-hmm. to show it. So obviously he's moving psychologically. He's progressing forward and yeah. away from yeah. what's going on. He's mm-hmm. getting more of a sense of self. Yeah. He's gaining his experience. He's gaining his own, what if, you know, what the, what is morally correct in this situation. Mm-hmm. And it's interesting to see that those steps going forward as yeah. he's, as he's, you know, reaching takeoff mm-hmm. to some greater thing. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Into space. At this know. point, at, at <clears throat> literally at this point, he doesn't, he's at that he's at the gen x moment where we all want to see the world burn Mm -hmm. you know and and he's just like he he just he just like because you know he's in the bunker right yeah and everyone's being told to get out of the bunker and he's just like why Mm -hmm. just do it yeah um it's what's so interesting to me about this movie is it it, i guess this is where where i felt like oh ano's fixing evangelion uh, right, it felt like these are all of the things that we complained about, you know, or that yeah, folks right. would complain about in 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 the original series. Where he was like, no, now I can actually like figure out how to justify all these actions. So when he does these things, you're like, oh yeah, no, I buy it. Like I'm I'm yeah. I'm with Shinji now. Um, you yeah, know, totally. And, and and again, from Shinji's perspective, he's like, you know, you're part of the system. Like I I I can't be part of this because. You are part of this abusive system that is doing all this, and just no. Um, uh, and again, the fact that like he he he's not making a secret of it, right? Like he is packing his bags, taking his things, leaving. Um. um and then yeah, Angel. which again, which again, it's another <laughs> another moment when he was walking out the door. It was like I half expected him to like put on a helmet and there to be like a swing <laughs> right off the helmet top. Be like. <laughs> You think you're really going to go anywhere, Shinji? Uh, yeah. Really? <laughs> I mean, th- you know, Gendo's going to, like, let this tantrum kind of thing mm-hmm. because of the way he is. He's going right. to let you have just enough rope sure. that you feel like you've done something, and then he's going to jank the chain back. Right. That's going to be like, yeah. oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> But, you know, go, Shinji, go. Right. Um, well, it's the important psychological thing, right, is that Shinji is setting boundaries for himself. Yeah. Um, he, he is he is finally saying you know um, um, yeah I need I don't agree with this and so it may not be the perfect decision but I need to distance myself from the abuse right and, and at least just not be part of that uh, which is again a, a very healthy thing it's like yeah other people might get hurt by this by the abuser but I at least need the distance to be able to make the next step yeah um, uh, yeah and then next angel attack um, and uh, boy, things accelerate in here. Woo! Um, you know, I did not expect in movie two to see Tokyo 3 just crumble at the beginning of a fight. Um, yeah. All the buildings come down. Um, uh, and this thing just starts, just starts annihilating things. Um, and uh, yeah, and so they call out, and again... It, 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 you got to think about all the different things Ano is thinking about. Where imagine, you know, Ano going into an Eva fan club and saying, "So the new girl goes out in Asuka's uh, Evangelion." And seeing everyone go, "No, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. How dare you? How dare you?" Rage, um, rage, exactly. <laughs> rage, rage against the dying of the light. <laughs> totally. Um, uh, and she does so, and she, and she, you know, boy, what a great sequence um, of her just doing everything she can against this thing. Um, uh, and I particularly appreciate Mari, to that, that, that soldier point, her situational awareness, where, mm-hmm. like, she's thrown, and she's, oh, to the, Oh, and she sees the thing coming in, dodges out of the way of that thing. Um, like she's always aware there's an enemy out there that she has to react to. Yeah. Um, 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 and then she, uh, you know, she becomes the beast. 
Um, they kick ass, beast. Buddy. Kick ass, absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I just love this this imagery of of her and this idea that you know what? How do you plus Evan Gellion? Right. What do you do new with Evan Gellion? How how do you push that forward? You you introduce a character who deliberately goes into berserker mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like what a great cool. idea. So, so release one, the limiters and just go. Yep. <laughs> like yeah, well, cool. You, you know it's and this is the mythos of the Evangelion units yeah. where all of a sudden everyone's just like. And Ava can do that. And I'm like, well, you, you built it. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah, you should yeah. have some idea. Mm -hmm. You're part of the command center, <laughs> and these rods that are sp spiking out, and she's going berserker mode. And there's this secret code. Somebody put the secret code there. Mm -hmm. Steve, Probably you're Kaji. talking like the difference between command and an engineering section. Engineering <laughs> section, they're totally doing their own damn thing. That thing. Like, they don't I, tell I anybody like, in the command unit what the hell's happening. Like, it's just like, I just like, it, it just goes full beast mode yeah. and just wonderful. And this is how she does the thing. And, yeah. and like everyone in headquarters is like, ah. Yeah, like, <laughs> wow. We've been using this stuff wrong the whole time. Like, well, yeah, cool. it reminded right. me. We could have ended this like 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and that whole thing reminded me a bit of um, Sword Art Online, where it's like, this new game comes out, and oh, by the way, the designer designed them to lock onto people's heads forever. <laughs> and no one knew. It's like, really? Really? You went through multiple phases of engineering and testing and all this stuff and you had teams of hundreds of people but nobody noticed it could lock onto people's heads everyone's heads forever it's like, mm, okay sure well right. that's why you have the limitation of liability clause when you say accept or not accept you right. said accept can you, imagine you say that that's fine can you imagine that rollout party oh hey we're gonna try going to the new world <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. oh get it off <laughs> Um, Hi, CEO of the company. I would like a big fat raise, or that <laughs> helmet's not coming off. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, wait, oh, we see the downside of this now. Uh, <laughs> um, the, uh, the, 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 the pretty lady who gives me food just mm. poked her head here after I just started screaming. <laughs> yeah. and she's like, are you okay? <laughs> no, but it's okay. No. Uh, <laughs> Screams of joy, not yeah. that I stepped on a Lego. It's all yeah, fine. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then Ray shows up. Yeah. And again, what a wonderful bit of, of not character building necessarily, of but sort of plot building of the idea that you're now raised ready to go. And she does this. Why? So Shinji doesn't have to. Where something that the maternal instinct is, is switching on for reasons. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then just kind of just the general of, you no, know, I, I, I see how much, I see how much Shinji doesn't want to do this. Uh, and so I can I can do the thing and that's again she sees herself as, as the tool um, but a, the, the difference in her facial expression yeah. is much more proactive absolutely yes, yeah. yes. so there's emotion other her face. times absolutely. yeah yeah other times that you've seen her that she's just operating the machine operating the machine it's like no now she's like oh hell no We're right doing the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely like, yeah. Oh, yeah wow that's a ray that's kind of unexpected mm -hmm. it's like did you did, did you what did you take the blue pills this morning with your with your other pills or something yeah. it's got you more personality going on here mm -hmm. well you know she this is finally her just being you know making her own decisions making her own you know whatever yeah. mm -hmm. and yeah. i being just love being a person <laughs> who can manhandle a megaton warhead yeah. and, um, yeah. and again i just have to i just have to amaze myself at hq are they going wait a minute that's not a gun. No, <laughs> it's a megaton warhead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just end handling it like, like so many hundred kilotons. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and didn't wouldn't somebody somewhere have said, um, Ray just got in a unit two and um, or or unit whatever yeah. and unit zero, and and she grabbed one of the nukes. <laughs> Don't you think that would have been transmitted somewhere along the way? Again, engineering? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> otherwise, command, you know, as Brennan said, they'd be in the root cellar right now, like, oh, she's got, like, a super megaton missile, and she's going <laughs> to detonate it right over us. We're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, boy. Um, yeah. Um, but they do the thing, and, and again, Mari in beast mode, and I love the two of them working together. And, and again, it's one of those things where 
it's it's one of the reasons that I, I found this movie just so much more more enjoyable because Mari and Ray have no problem working together. Yeah, and it's just yeah, we, we have to do the thing. We do the thing. We, no angst, no problems. Just do the thing, uh, which is great. Yeah, no Asuka insulting Shinji. No mm-hmm. Shinji, be, you know, doubting what he was doing or being at least hesitant. Yeah, it's right. like nope, they're doing the thing. Nope, absolutely. Um, and then. <laughs> Um, Ray actually like literally saves Mari, like throws her clear of the blast, which I yeah. I don't think I noticed yeah. the first time around. I was like, oh wow, like she thought that through. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, and then the okay, very anime moment. Let's be honest, extraordinarily anime moment of Shinji in the uh, in the shelter, you know, sitting there, and then what should happen to blast through the door? <laughs> <laughs> With the head yeah. of, uh, of Unit 2. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Sure. Fine. You know, that just he happens. just sits there. <laughs> yeah. Staring at it. like. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. And, and again, it's, it's where, you know, Shinji before had been, let's be honest, kind of suicidally depressed. And I think this is yeah. one of those points where he's like, yeah, to your point, John, I think he's, he's kind of like, or to your point, you know, if, so what? Like, I, I think Shinji has very much made peace with the fact that he is likely going to die in this shelter. Um, and that, that is, you know, and that is a reasonable outcome at this point. Like he doesn't want it, yeah. but it, it could very well happen. Um, and so well, I mean, you think when this angel strikes, when you start seeing, yeah. you know, Tokyo 3 cascading Ooh. down, it's like there is a shot in there where everybody's like standing on the street, staring upwards. Yeah. Where it's like, Okay, well, presumably, you know, Shinji's sitting in this shelter and he's fully aware of the yeah. fact that, like, tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people just died above him and around him. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I, I, you can kind of appreciate his, you know, as Steve had said, like the Gen Z thing where it's like, yeah, yeah, screw it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, uh, good point. Absolutely. Um, um, and then Mari pulls him out and. I love how Mari's, what Mari does here is, it is understandably motivated, where she's kind of like, just, it's no fun to be locked away. Like, I'm not going to leave you in here. I'm going to bring you out. But in bringing him out, it shows him what's happened. Yeah. Um, and it shows him the devastation and all that, and it shows him, oh no, because I wasn't here, all this happened. Um, and then Anno just twists the knife by the very next image, <laughs> unit yeah. zero, off of the lens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just the horror of that, that moment. Um along with all of the, you know, all of the, the, um, monochromatic mm-hmm. lighting of this yeah. scene where Evangelion is, is so good about color and now just everything is so drab and so lifeless. Uh, and it's definitely like one of, one of the, the you know, um, uh, the lowest, lowest points of the movie. Um, and so Shinji starts to run. Um, and you get the, the again, one of the scenes where I, basically jumped out of my chair um, when Shinji runs in and we go back to 20 minutes into the, into the TV series where he's on the platform looking up and he says, I am Shinji Akari, the pilot of Unit 1. Evan Gunn, Unit 1. I'm, I'm getting a little reclamped with saying that because it's like, thank God, you know, right? Like, Oh, what, what a wonderful, you know, turnaround, what a wonderful shift in everything to have this moment mirroring that moment and to have Shinji go, no, I choose. I choose yeah. because I want to protect them. Um, not because you manipulated me into this, because I haven't seen you for the last, you know, two, two hours. Yeah. Um, this is my choice. Well, it's, it's when he left Misato, and she tries to give him his recorder, mm-hmm. his his ASMR recording, in. and he doesn't take it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know it's like he's slowly but surely casting things off. He locks himself in the box. Yep. Mm-hmm. But you know, 
<laughs> very obviously and evidently, Eva intrudes on that right. box. <laughs> yeah. He is cast mm -hmm. aside the stuff that <laughs> helps him to yeah. escape. Mm -hmm. And he is, you know, Eva has broken into the box and reminded him of what <clears throat> he's what he has got to do to protect the things and the people that are important. And it's beyond daddy. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. it's about Ray, it's about Asuka, it's about Misato, it's about the people that are in his life. And that the bits and pieces that have sort of fallen away, resulting in him in the box, the way that it's broken in, has broken him open mm -hmm. to have that moment where I am Shinji Ikari, I am the pilot. Mm -hmm. And it's like, cool, now you just need like about 10,000 hours worth of training so you can use this <laughs> yeah. thing, right? But, you know, talk mm -hmm. to uh, Mari, she'll be fine to like mm -hmm. get you up to speed. It'll be good. Absolutely, I'm but sure. She'll put you yeah. in a beast mode. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Just, you know, she might get like, it once or twice, but don't worry too much yeah, about it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but, he could, but he could do it purposely versus right. like, you know, yeah, exactly. accidentally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then this is where the. So then he does the thing. Hmm. And, you know, he, and it's a wonderful for me. Hmm. This whole this whole sequence and fight yeah. sequence has, has been wonderful and it continues to be wonderful, except for the song that I don't. Think was appropriate mm. for this. Oh, I this love the thing. song. I love the uh, song. Yeah, I, I <laughs> think it's appropriate maybe for something else. Mm -hmm. I recognize its utility, mm -hmm. but right. I through the thing. I mean, a lot, when I watched, I was like, "Oh God, this song." Okay, and going through it, and I I feel that there could have been something different. But yeah, sure, fair, fair. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't but, even you know, notice the song. I was just watching the yeah. accident happening. I'm like, oh crap, things are really yeah. going down. Wow, cool. <laughs> but when he's doing it and things striking metaphysical mm -hmm. and you know, he's reaching for Ray and it's this and and then <clears throat> you start having all the other secondary characters talking. Yeah. And saying, Okay, this is the realization of this thing. Mm -hmm. And some of them are like, What's going on? And other ones yeah. are are Riska is, is basically, oh yeah, this is the end of the world that we've all been working for. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and Gendo is just like the human instrumentality human project. Human instrumentality project, project, yeah. And I'm just like going, so we're gonna put more holes in the, in the world? Yeah. And, you know, and so it's, all this is happening mm -hmm. and, you know, the, and you have the wonderful moment of him having Ray and mm -hmm. Ray being allowed to be herself being rescued. Mm -hmm. Put all thoughts aside about all the implications of that. Right, right yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, revel in the moment that he that Shinji actually saved somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. He actually yeah. saved somebody. Like 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 it's not just like some abstract idea on protecting the city or blah 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 blah. Yeah. Saving you. Yeah. Doing it. Mm -hmm. Doing it. Absolutely. Doing it. Yeah. Here I am. I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm I, doing the thing. Again, another. If you all, yeah. If you all, I'm doing this. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 this is a, for me another one of those. Holy smokes. They are very deliberately sending a message about Shinji's personality now. That no, he yeah. is. He is a hero now. Yeah. yeah. Very deliberately. Well, to say he's in his, you know, however that form he is he's rescuing her yeah. whatever metaphysical things are happening around the world in that moment at that mm -hmm. time yeah, yeah. he is physically looking like he's pounding his way into there like just yeah. trying to break through to, yeah. regardless of the pain regardless of, of yeah. the obstacles that are going on mm -hmm. he is breaking through this yeah. to do the heroic thing to do the right thing yeah what he absolutely. considers to be the correct and moral thing yeah absolutely. And it's like Wow, you know, Shinji, that not to, you know, be me, but wow, Shinji, good job. You grew a pair. Right? Good job. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Way to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's also interesting to me visually that um, he is still wearing his clothes. He doesn't yeah. go, you know, weird, naked, you know, glowy anime nudity thing. It's still very much Shinji, right? This is not Shinji in an abstract sense, you know, or in a pure sense. This is Shinji as he is as a normal human being doing this. Yeah. Um, which I really appreciated. Um, and again, just that very active thing. And, I, and even further, the fact that, you know, Ray goes, no, it's fine. Like, it, it's okay. There are others. You know, I, let it go. Like, I'm, I'm fine with this. Don't, don't, you know, do, do anything. And, and Chinji basically goes, no, I'm going to save you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, like, earlier Shinji would have still tried to save her, but that would have stopped him. That would have paused him. 
right? He would have been like, wait, wait, what? what what's going on? Father, what, what, what does this mean? Right? No, he's yeah. like, don't care. I am saving you. Which is a crit, which is a critical point you make because yeah. that pause would have stopped him from saving. Yeah, him. exactly. Yeah. So not having a pause and just driving forward is the only thing, really, in essence, that gets him to save her. Yep. Any any hesitation mm -hmm. would have resulted in a completely negative outcome. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not that this was a super positive <laughs> well, outcome, but you know. Yeah, or, you know yeah. um, I also appreciate yeah. it. And unfortunately, I can't screenshot it because there's a naked girl in it. Um, but when he pulls her out, there is this determination on her, his face as he pulls her out. It's not, oh, thank goodness. It's not, yeah, it's, I did the thing. And it's just such a great little, you know, visual thing of, of, of completing the action, uh, which I just really appreciate. Um, um, yeah, and then we, we, we get all these... Very popular imagery, and again, sort of like, you know, oh, yeah, oh, no, everything's going to gonna fall apart. And, and then we get the oyster spear from the moon. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so the, 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 the post credits. Um, um, and again, this, I, 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 I do think this was really smart. Uh, okay, we see this, and then we see the spear of Longinus come in. Um, because we, you know, that's a thing from the original TV series. Like every, everyone is, is aware of that imagery. And to have it come in is like, oh, no. <laughs> it's gonna get better. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. I mean, at first it sounds like cascada music is gonna come on, but no, no it's not gonna be. Yeah. It's not gonna be good. No. Um, and then next episode preview, which, again, cool. Well, you know what they did different this time. I think mm. is that they they went through part of it, uh, like you know the ending of it, and then they went through I think some part of the credits, and then they showed him at, on the moon saying i'm coming for you shinji basically um, that, that coming was, down. um that was earlier in the movie um okay so, so that is probably through the movie yeah the the uh, we have the credits i don't think that is in the credits anywhere uh, I'll, I'll go back through i think it's just yeah. credits and then spear of longinus and then uh, uh next episode yeah yeah, yeah. um but yeah and to, to that point though like there are multiple moments in this in this movie where they are hinting at <laughs> yeah, a certain character showing up where they're like oh okay yeah. We know the fans. Um, we know what you want. The, the, the oyster picker of doom. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, and all of these uh, various imagery of Eva 3.0Q. Um, because we, we can't have a normal numbering system. Of course not. <laughs> besides, at the end of, besides at the end of number two, we're all just like... Right. <laughs> <gasps> It's also, I think, again, very smart. One of the things that they do is we get all this imagery, and I think it was brilliant for the the very last image of this is Asuka with the eye patch. Because mm -hmm. um, yep. I remember watching this, and this wasn't in the version I saw in this. And maybe like I watched 3.0, and this is 3.33. But in the version I watched, after all that stuff happened in the battle, there's a line where somebody says, what happened to Asuka? And somebody says... Um, they're putting her back together from the scraps they can find. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, no. That. And yeah, in yeah. this, Ooh. like, you see just this, 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 um, you see, like, her body in some, like, giant big thing. But like, you see her hair splayed out. And you see her. clearly, like, her body is there. Um, so, you know, because that was, like, like I, I think that was, in a sense, like, really cleverly creepy uh you know, that take on it of like mm -hmm. wow like they have the technology for that like we've seen all sorts of crazy things they can do it makes sense that they could rebuild her um uh you know and i i, I kind of like the idea of wow like they could kind of you know not to be really creepy kind of scrape her up off the sidewalk and then reconstruct you know Aww. uh her from that but i i really like the fact that, that they're like no oscar's going to be back and she's going to be fine Right, like she may be yeah. beat up and so forth, but she's not like out of the picture. Um, yeah, and the eye patch indicates that you know it wasn't right. necessarily yeah. the most successful <laughs> reclonage. Yes. She should have an eye if she was cloned. Mm. Uh, yeah. So uh, apparently just, they they had more than six million dollars, so they right. were yes. able to rebuild her. <laughs> yes. Good. Except they had the one guy who's just like I, the eyeballs were right up there. I just can't <laughs> the stick. It's okay. She only needs the one, huh? Okay. Right. Doesn't need binocular vision. The <laughs> robot will do it for her. I'm imagining uh, young Frankenstein and the, the brain jar, you know, and 
Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, I got a brain. <laughs> Abby something. Abby what? <laughs> Abby normal. You got an abnormal brain? <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's yeah, a Captain Harlock eye patch, I think, Dr. Version. That's, a, that's ah. an interesting call. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I was like, give her, give her a Harlock eye patch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, then she gets her own space battleship. Wait right. a minute, where's right. this gonna go now? <laughs> yeah. Boy, Asuka would not work in the Batamoto universe. Boy, no. like that just that just would not fit there at all. Like we have plenty of like strong characters and so forth, but it's just there's too much melancholy in that universe for 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 a brash girl like Asuka, I think. Um, well, you know what, Hollywood's always looking for something different. Maybe they'll tack onto that and be like, you know, right. let's try it. They're like, hey, here we go. I can see it. I, I can see it now. Um, I can see it failing miserably, but yeah. still. <laughs> Um, nothing yeah. ventured, nothing gained, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, so that's Eva 2.22. Um, any final thoughts? I liked this better than the TV series. Hey, nice. <laughs> good. Mm-hmm. Regaining ground. Mm-hmm. Doing good. Um, I'm actually still processing it. Okay, bit. fair. Um, I'm, uh, and not in a bad way or not in a good way. I'm just still you know, processing it and... I'm, I enjoyed all the, the the combat scenes. I really enjoyed it, yeah. and <clears throat> the world building and and all that, and including the oyster to the pick of doom. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just going to be focused on that because yeah. it's just a wonderful little instrument. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, so I'm. But I'm just waiting. I'm just you know, it's one of the scenes where it's just like three is coming up, and you're just like, I'm going to be slapped in the face. So so hard by this episode and yeah. this is like it's a new territory for me yeah so i know i'm gonna sit down here and i like you know i watched this thing last night at like midnight so you know oh, wow yeah was, you know so i was i was um i, I stay up late sometimes yeah. so i don't think i'm gonna do that with three i <laughs> yeah. think i'm gonna need Wise. i think i'm gonna need some drinking time because mm. um you know yep. I'm, I'm i really i i'm i'm actually kind of dreading mm. the next episode okay oh you should I've already seen it. I've seen it twice now, and it's like, no, it's 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 good. You'll okay. you'll actually enjoy this one. Well, oh, I'm sure I'll enjoy it, yeah. but yeah. but I'm just afraid of what's you know all the things. You know, <laughs> there's a lot that goes on. I, <laughs> yeah. it's really, film. there's a lot. That goes on. <laughs> well, I'm not shocked. Spoiling it. Yeah, no. I ain't saying nothing. I, I appreciate that. No. I'm not getting in the robot. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and then Amuro shows up. Um, uh, because we do need somebody on the spectrum. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, no. And, well, and that's the interesting thing about, about this movie, too, I think, is that you're in the end of the movie and, like, where are they going to go? Like, like, where... It's not where can they go from here, but it's, like, they have gone so far beyond the TV series at this point. They're like, okay, I have no expectation of anything kind of remotely like the TV series at this point. Um, so that it is fresh ground, which is very exciting. Yeah. Which is why I, I like the, the getting into two, getting into three. Because it's like, you know, the path of the TV show, I'm like, I'm going to strangle Shinji. I'm going to strangle him. <laughs> and even even movie one, I'm like, I'm going to strangle Shinji. I'm going to strangle him. And then by two, it's like, okay, hey, here we go. And then three, I'm like, thank you. Mm, nice. Mm-hmm. Now I enjoy this. This is good. Well, enjoy it. Now I have, like, understanding of some things that are happening mm. and why the things are the way they are. Oh, God, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Um, sweet. So that is uh, Eva 2.22. Next week we'll talk about Eva 3.33. Woo! Yeah. Um, and then eventually we will we will finish out the rebuild movies um, and see how angry we are with Anno at that point. Um, <laughs> but before then... Well, is, is 3.1.5.7 whatever, is that available yet or not yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, all the rebuild movies I, I are I thought available. it was on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the thing. Is that that I want to see how after there were three point three three at the 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 yeah. one that came out theatrically yeah. within the last one, no. year or two. Yeah, I want to see that one. Mm-hmm. We really you will. Really do. Soon. Yeah. Um, Yay. Good night, my field to sit through. Fair enough, Jay. <laughs> um, <laughs> cool. Well, uh, then we will be right back and take a quick break, and uh, see you all on the flip side.